Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy. This time I'm reviewing Hocus Pocus and it's all new sequel. These are written by A.W. Jantha. This is actually a book with two different books in it. Um, so this is based off the Disney movie Hocus Pocus from the 90s and then the sequel takes place 25 years later. So both these stories take place in Salem, Massachusetts, which is famous for the Salem Witch Trials. But in this book, their biggest lore around Halloween revolves around the three Sanderson sisters. Um, who were tried for witchcraft and put to death after they abducted one particular child named Emily Finks. The, uh, the first one, Hocus Pocus, is just a novelization of the movie, so if you've seen it, um, it totally follows that, and it's great, and then has all the right campy moments, and, like, has the best lines from the movie in there, and it's amazing. So Hocus Pocus follows Max, who's, like, a teenager, and his sister Danny, who's probably in middle school, as they have their first Halloween in Salem and Max being a teenager is like I don't believe in all this hocus pocus all this witch stories this is crazy there's this legend about if a virgin goes into the Sanderson house on Halloween night and lights this one particular calend candle the Sanderson sisters will come back and he's like this is totally bogus um but everybody's scared of it and so he wants to impress this one girl Allison who is incredibly popular and is really into these the history of the Sanderson sisters and her mom used to work at their house as when it was a museum um so he wants to impress her and he's like let's go to the Sanderson house on Halloween um and so Max Danny and Allison all make this trip to the house Max lights the candle he is a virgin it's kind of ridiculous he's just showing off and then it like they come back the three witches come back and start stalking Salem and the three of them need to figure out how to get rid of the witches and send them back to hell. Um, it's incredibly funny and hilarious, and I love the movie, and the book does such a good job of that, of capturing all those moments. Um, sometimes it's a bit weird because it tries to translate, like, there's a musical number in the movie that gets translated into the book, and it, it works because I've seen the movie and could picture what was happening, but I'm not sure it would have worked if I had never seen the movie before to, like, try to read that. It also helps that it's a song I put a spell on you, so it's like a well-known song. Um, so even if you hadn't seen the movie, you can at least like kind of know what the song is. I also love their adventures with Binks the Cat and how well he's portrayed in this. And this, the novelization does flesh out the movie a bit more and adds more lore around the Sanderson sisters and their time in Salem, in particularly adding in a new character um, who becomes important, important during the sequel. So by itself, I would give the novelization of Focus Pocus like a five star. It was so much fun and awesome and just like captured everything so well. So the all-new sequel, which doesn't actually have a title other than being the all-new sequel, uh, takes place 25 years later and it follows Poppy, who is the daughter of Max and Allison. They got married, they had a kid, the kid is 17 at the time, and she's trying to impress this girl named Isabel and enlist her best friend, well, their best friend, Trevor, to do it. Um... So she decides on this brilliant plan that because the Sanderson house works so well for her parents, she's going to use it on Isabel. Um, she's grown up hearing these stories from her parents about the Sanderson sisters, but like completely does not believe them. She's like, there's no way that happened. Um, so she also goes to the Sanderson house and does some stupid stuff that also brings the Sanderson sisters back for another night. And so we have this another adventure with these three witches and another group of teenagers trying to stop it. Um, Max, Allison, and Danny all get taken out pretty early in the book so that they cannot just like solve the problem again and the teenagers do actually have to solve it on their own. Um, it does also update it for 2018 when the book was published last year. Uh, so we have cell phones and technology um, and a lot of it works really well like actually the witches encountering a cell phone for the first time and going through the contacts and like trying to cast a spell through the cell phone which was really cool. I also really enjoyed them as characters and this book was just fun if you don't think too hard about it because some of it's a bit weird, the magic isn't consistent in the way that it works, um, there's plenty to pick apart in this book if you were trying to, um, which is why probably I would give this one like a three, three and a half stars on its own rounding out the entire book to like a four star. Um, it wasn't as much fun, but I did enjoy the fact that I didn't know what was going to happen, which was great. 
going into this and just being completely surprised. And I like the characters, and I loved enjoying seeing Salem and getting to see um, Max, Alice, and Danny, some of the other characters from the movie getting like aged up and how what they actually did, what are their jobs in the future. Um, that was fun. Um, this the sequel also has a musical number in it, which does not hit at all. It's awkward. It's a brand new song. It's not a song you would have known from the radio. Um, one of the witches is just dancing around and there's instruments being added and it's so weird and it does not work in a book format. Like if this were a movie and this was like the big musical number in the movie, it would totally work. But in the book, it doesn't, doesn't work at all. So there is also that character from the first book, um, Elizabeth, who is mentioned in the novelization that wasn't actually in the movie but becomes a central part of the all new sequel. So if you're like a purist who focus focus lore and you can't mess with it or change any of it, then it's a bit weird too. Um, we also get to see Emily and Binks' ghosts come back. And also it was fun to see them, but also it would be a bit weird. Like you guys don't get to just go enjoy your afterlife. You have to come back and deal with the Sanderson sisters again. That kind of sucks. The Sanderson sisters are a little bit different than um, they seem to be in the movie, and I don't know if that's just because I'm not actually seeing these characters um, when I'm reading the novelization for the movie. Obviously I could just picture them in the scenes and exactly how they played out in the movie, whereas it definitely took more like... I don't know if the changes in my perception were just from not actually having seen it before and so I'm having to imagine it all on my own, um, or if they really were that off. Um, but I do like the fact that uh, Mary and Sarah, the two younger Sanderson sisters, kind of step up a bit and uh, their characters are fleshed out more. Um, and they kind of stand up to Winifred, who's their older sister and the ringleader. The book also has illustrations at the start of every chapter. So like there's a picture. There are the normal chapter illustrations. Um, I kind of like it. It's cute. It's adorable. Aww, more pictures. Um, and this, the plot does get a bit ridiculous in both of these, like the things that happen. We're dealing with witches and then all of a sudden there are zombies and ghosts involved also. Um, it just really is out there. It just can't be fun. So the main reason why I rate this so high is just because I had fun reading it. Oh, there is one line in here that absolutely cracked me up. Binks sees Poppy for the first time and his first reaction is to tell her, well, I guess your dad's not a virgin anymore. And I thought it was just hysterical because that was the whole plot of the first book is that he was a virgin he lit the candle and was being an idiot so <laughs> that one was just hilarious so most of the book is actually the sequel this is just the novelization of the first one and the rest of this is all the older sequel and its story there's my review um peace out i love you guys keep reading and happy halloween bye